Hello, welcome to Steve Noves. It's time for the weekly news update, where we have some new exciting quest features, an existential crisis for the quest too, some pretty amazing new games, and much more. So I think that is enough chin wagging. Let's get started. Today's video is sponsored by a provider of VR accessories for the Quest 3, the Quest 2, the Pico 4, Valve Index and the HTC Vive, providing lower cost alternatives to improve your VR experience from hand grips so you can feel comfortable letting go of the controller and prevent you from throwing it across the room. They have facial inserts for heat dissipation and comfort, head straps to reduce your face fatigue and your headache, even accessories to improve your immersion such as ping pong paddles, boxing gloves and even a golf club. One of my favorites though is the neck battery as it extends your playtime massively without adding any extra weight to your head or your face. And this one nearly triples your playtime needed if you're looking to dive into Contractor Showdown and want to play longer than an hour and a half to two hours. So they offer free shipping worldwide if you spend $20, a 30 day return policy if you're not happy with the product and a year long warranty on your purchases. So I'll link AMVR down below in the description if you want to check it out. So the version 65 update for the Quest has been rolling out and I know some of you may even still be on version 63 but hopefully you're on version 64 as that brought additional features. So V65 is a small one but it brings with it features that would apply for VR being applicable to normal life. Not just gaming, I almost struggled with that, applicable applicable. First is an increase in the spatial video support. So in version 62, Meta added spatial video playback because Apple did it, I guess. But this is, well, this was restricted to certain devices. That was the latest iPhone 15, but now it's been opened up to anything that is on iOS 17. So you can use it on your 14, your 13, your 12, your 11th. You can now record and upload and playback spatial video on your Quest headset with those devices. Sadly, I do not have version 65 still. And you think I'd get it first so I could share the knowledge with you, but I, I feel the UK be kind of kind of suffer a bit there. We also get panoramic VR still. So when you're away and you like to take panoramic shots of the stunning city view in Europe of somewhere like Rome or a beauty like the Grand Canyon, you can now see that photograph in VR but as a panoramic photo, it gets converted into like a skybox. You can view it in 2D, but it surrounds you and you can view it exactly how you captured it. So this is an iPhone iOS 17 supported feature also though. Where is the Android support? You know, this is an Android device. I'm surprised Apple are even letting them do this. Adding features and they're a competitor. But the interesting one for me is the title that says local multiplayer and boundary recall with meta virtual positioning system. Yes, local multiplayer, allowing for multiple VR devices to occupy the same physical space. This is apparently achieved by leveraging the meta virtual positioning system, which has to be enabled in your privacy settings because it does mean you're going to be sending data back to meta to process, but they will be using more complex models to understand the environment that the little quest cannot handle. This in turn also reduces the likelihood that your headset won't recognize a previously used environment causing you to redraw it. That's fantastic if you like to play VR and you're constantly moving between spaces in your home or location, this should resolve that problem. And local multiplayer is super exciting. Just need multiple headsets now and um, friends. That would help. A huge announcement now, something exciting. I was pumped when Alien got announced last week for VR, but now this week we have Batman Arkham Shadow. This has been announced as another Quest 3 exclusive. It's going to be developed by Camouflage. I call them Camouflage just for the giggles, who brought us the Iron Man port previously to Quest. And that was a stunning game. It played brilliantly. I had so much fun with that one. I got no doubt in my mind that they're going to deliver here as well. So they dropped a teaser trailer, much like Alien, just nothing but big old teasers recently. But it did hint at some mechanics like gliding and stealth, using tactical items like smoke bombs to get away. And there was also a rat running away, which could be a hint at DC's Rat Catcher as the antagonist. And I did read that the Rat Catcher actually is dead in this timeline. So is it a prequel? I don't know. Or could it be the female rat catcher, his daughter? For all I know, they could have just been highlighting that Gotham is incredibly dirty, but I do suspect it's a clue. We should be hearing more about this title on June 7th during the Summer Game Festival. I cannot wait. And I bet people who enjoy flat screen gaming are pretty annoyed waiting for an Arkham game and then one is announced and it's for VR. Well, get into VR guys. 
And something I want to touch on because that story combined with last week's alien announcement and this article by Tech Radar had me pondering, is this the slow death and demise of the Quest 2 now that we're getting top tier exclusives only for Quest 3? Franchises that have stood the test of time and people love and you cannot access them unless you own a Quest 3. When the Quest 2 dropped and a Resident Evil 4 released as an exclusive title for that, it kind of, it rang the dinner bell for others to say, we're only going to support Quest 3, it's okay now, others are doing it, and I suspect we're probably going to see the same thing happen here. And as brutal as it sounds, I side with it to some degree because it means that we keep pushing standalone forward to get to a point where we consistently get big titles that play reliably, are complex, and look fantastic. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that the Quest 3 Lite tease is going to come soon because it will give folks a helping hand or, or, or a hand at least to some level to grab that upgraded hardware for a brilliant price because... Quest 2s are still being sold incredibly cheap and it's expensive to buy the Quest 3 right now. It's like £500. That's, that's not easy. People just can't casually drop that to upgrade a system. And I don't want you guys to miss out on these experiences, but that's out of my control. So I'm kind of hoping things sort of come together and ease the pain of this and give an opportunity for you guys to enjoy some of the franchises that we love. And this is kind of a nice segue into the fact that you can win a Quest 3. So I've partnered with Synth Riders to promote their new 80s mixtape Side A song pack, where you can play some 80s classics, dancing and grooving to some absolute bangers. And I will link that down below so you can sign up and try and win a Quest 3. And there are also extra bonus entries if you can submit a high score in this song pack. And for flex points, just try and beat my score. Let me know how that goes. I, I'm a big fan of Phil Collins, so Studio is a groove. We have a new game now from Fast Travel Games. This is available to play in early access through App Lab called Mannequin. This is an asymmetrical multiplayer stealth game where one team consisting of three players acting as aliens that can shapeshift to hide in plain sight and try to attack the other team, while the other team will be a pair of players who will use their tools to hunt and try and kill the aliens. Teammates can revive you if you act quickly though and it was it was kind of described as prop hunt which it kind of makes sense so if you're interested in this style of play i have been given some non-affiliate guys non-affiliate i'm not making anything on this discount codes up to 50 percent off and i thought i would share this in case this is one of those games that appeal to at least some of you and you can save some money there so i'll put those down below in the description it is may may the 4th actually today so I salute you. A new month meaning a new set of games for the MetaQuest Plus subscription service. We have Stones of Harleth. I actually really like this game. It was like being sent to another dimension where I exist within a Super Nintendo RPG. I loved the retro art style and the magical abilities, but it did get a little repetitive with the combat, but it's not a bad experience. It's actually pretty decent. A great way to spend or kill some time this weekend if you're bored. We also have Vacation Simulator, which is a spin-off from the classic job simulator, so you can try and relax on holiday, but in reality, you'll be getting up to a bunch of nonsense with mini games, which for some is actually a vacation, I suppose. And with that, you get access to a rotating catalog of games with some fantastic titles. If you wanna spend $8 this month to sign up and just have something to play, these are the games that you'll be able to enjoy this month. It is time for some quick fire news. Good to know bits of information that deserve a shout out but not too much to say about them. The first of which is Pistol Whip will drop three new scenes next month from June 6th called Void Slayer. This will be power metal themed which is going to be a change of pace for Pistol Whip which are often banging out EDMs. I'm, I may have to dive in. I'm a rocker at heart. My heart grows weak for a guitar solo. Check the, check the trailer out because it is shred central. I'm pretty excited for this one. One of my favourite cooperative RPG titles, Dungeons of Eternity, a fantastic game by the way, brilliant, gets a new update that means it supports Be Haptic so you can feel the world that you are immersed in, as well as adding new weapons, traps, 25 new chambers to explore, that's a lot. There's also a nightmare difficulty as well if you're up for the challenge, I can't. Can barely play it on normal mode. It's not an easy game. And finally, we have happy days for my PC VR gamers. EA Sports World Rally Championship gets VR support. So it'll put you behind the wheel of a rally car. That sounds like an intense experience. Narrow roads, drifting around mud tracks in the middle of the woods, trees going. Whoo, whoo, whoo. Oh, 
what a rush, especially if you've got a rig to, to enjoy it. So that's it from me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. I hope there was something here for you to get excited for. Please subscribe to the channel. I'll link the accessories down below in the description, the Quest 3 giveaway as well. And have a great week. Happy gaming, guys. Good day.